Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas and you're watching Fine Tuning. And today we're going to be checking out the Planet Tone Legacy pickups. So this is the uh, Legacy 5 that I have in the bridge here. Um, and the 5 just means an Alnico 5 magnet. And then the Legacy 2, so again, just Alnico 2 magnet. So the Legacy pickups are kind of like modern PAFs, if that makes sense. Like they have a lot of the qualities of a great PAF pickup, but there's some also modern type things in there that uh, you know we're kind of used to as modern guitar players. So it has that kind of upper mid sweetness, that little harmonic chirpy thing that uh, PAF pickups tend to have, but it's also got more bottom that's tighter and it's got uh, a little bit more of an edge on the top than like a sweet PAF, so it's like a little bit more aggressive, but it still sounds like a PAF pickup. So to me, this is like what you want a PAF pickup to sound like when you're playing live and you want your guitar to cut through the mix, you know? So anyway, um, we're gonna check out the sounds today. I have them in my PRS S2 Villa um, in this beautiful green color with uh, my Pioneer Woman pit guard. Thank you, proud of that. Um, so uh, yeah, nothing crazy going on here. It's just two humbuckers. Like I said, Alnico 5 in the bridge, Alnico 2 in the neck. We have a volume and a tone, and I do have a coil split on the tone control, so I can show you the pickup split or in humbucking mode. And uh, we're using my, my Legend setup here, so uh, my Legend A60 is gonna be providing the clean and kind of crunch and heavier tones. And then the uh, Legend Rock and Roll is going to be providing the lead tone with some overdrive in front of it and some delay and something like that. Just the normal deal for me. Um, so we're going to start with a clean sound, which is just uh, just straight clean, just with a little bit of compression added and uh, some reverb. And we'll start on our bridge pickup, and that sounds like this. <laughs> So hopefully you can hear on the bridge in humbucking mode, there's a kind of like uh, kind of a, a glistening top end. Like it's, it's, it's a little bit more bright and kind of almost has a little bit of a jangle to it on a clean sound, which I think is really awesome. And that's, it's a little brighter than a regular PA type pickup, but a kind of a similar type feel and output. Um, so I'm gonna put it in the middle position now, so both pickups on together. Again, we have that kind of, uh, I'm, chirp is the word that I like to use there. It's very bright and peppy. Uh, and in this case, it's, uh, it's almost got like a high fidelity kind of thing going on to it. It's that, that little bit of like, on a PAF type pickup, usually there's a, there's a real very light kind of warmth across the very top. And this is a little bit more bright and airy, which I think is really cool and great for, like I said, making your guitar cut through a mix. So on the neck pickup in humbucking mode, that sounds like this. And here with this particular neck pickup, because this is the, the Alnico 2 magnet rather than the 5, you probably notice that it's a bit more traditional sounding. Um, it just has that, that nice, warm, comfortable PAF neck pickup sound. It just is very balanced across the spectrum and it just feels good to play. It feels friendly under your fingers and you don't have to like do anything. That's just the sound, um, which I really did. So um, I'm gonna go back over to the bridge pickup now and now I'm gonna pull my tone control and so I'm gonna go through the pickup split. Um, so we'll start with the bridge pickup split. Thank you. 
So splitting a, a, a lower output humbucker, I say lower output, this is about nine and a half K, so it's not super low output, but splitting a humbucker in this range or lower can sometimes be a little difficult and it might not sound good, but this sounds really good. So that's a plus um, to these is I think they split really well. Um, and it doesn't lose the bottom, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's just a, a more of a single coil type sound. Um, and on this guitar in particular with these uh, saddles and the way it is, it really has got like a good twangy cluck to it, which I love. So I'm going to put it in the middle position, you'll hear both pickups together split. I think that's a great sound. It's it's like I don't know how to describe it exactly. It's sort of telly-ish, but but in a very different kind of way. It has the clarity of like the telly in between position, but it doesn't quack the same way. It's just really chimey, um, and it's great for arpeggiated stuff. You know, the, like this. So I had a little chorus and delay there just to kind of exacerbate it. But um, yeah, just beautiful chimey kind of quality when you play those arpeggiated chords. So if we move to the neck pickup, um, this really surprised me because again, I think when you're splitting humbuckers that are this output or the lower output kind of stuff, I think they tend not to sound as good. But this one sounds really good, very musical. So um, that sounds like this. To me, that is so incredibly usable. Like I would spend a lot of time on that setting um, if I was just if this was you know like my only guitar if I, that I was going to play the whole night. I would spend a lot of time in that particular setting because it just sounds great. So um, now I'm going to put on. We're going to go to the uh, drive channel of the A60 and we're going to use um, kind of a a mid gain type sound. Um, and um, again, I'm starting with the the bridge pickup and humbucking. And you'll hear this is to me where this pickup really. Uh, it just comes alive is when you put a little bit of drive on it because then you start hearing all the little harmonic nuances that come out of these which is like a planet tone thing anyway but these in particular are very harmonically active so it's just a lot of fun to play so that sounds like this and incoming boomer rock because that's what I like Right, and now both pickups together. Again, like, man, like, what, what's not to like about that sound? That's so chirpy and peppy, and I just love it. Um, neck humbucker, same sound.
with this particular amp tone and that pickup in that setting, to me, it's just like, it feels like a gigantic Strat neck pickup sound. Even though it is a humbucker sound, it like, it's just, it just feels like tubular in a way that I absolutely love. So that's killer. So now let's do that same stuff again, but we're gonna be on the split coil setting so you can kind of hear how it handles that. And um, again, starting in the bridge pickup. just sounds like a fantastic kind of telecaster type drive sound like I could use that all day and it would fit in a mix beautifully like that's the kind of sound that I use when I'm layering overdub guitars because it just like it's up here and it's kind of been it's occupying its own space and it just sounds really good over top of everything else um, so same sound both pickups split <laughs> I like that sound a lot because it's so delicate yet stinging at the same time, like just depending on the way you're picking or whether or not I'm using my fingers, you know? Like it, it has that kind of really soft, glassy quality to it, but then when you really dig in, it snaps. It's like really immediate, I love it. Um, neck pickup, which I already know I'm gonna like the sound of. <laughs> Once again, eh, like, that's the sound right there, man. That's, you can't do any better than that. Um, so I'm gonna go over to the, uh, basically that same sound, but I'm gonna hit it in front really hard with an overdrive, so we're gonna get kind of like a metal sound. Uh, so I'm gonna put it in drop D and play some riffs, and we'll see what that sounds like. <laughs> Hopefully I won't get demonetized for playing that short little riff there. Bummer if I do. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna go through all the pickup settings on that level again, it's kind of a moot point that, uh, but let's um, check out a lead tone. So I'm gonna go over to my rock and roll sound, which is a lot smoother and kind of more mid-rangey, and it has some delay on it and a lot of distortion. <laughs> uh, and so that's kind of like my singing lead tone, that sounds like this.
I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. Of course it's gonna sound good. <laughs> like, once again, there's that harmonic thing that's just so sensitive. Even these little things where I, sometimes I like to hit a note and then kind of just gently tap the harmonic out by leaning my hand forward. And it just captures every little nuance of that. It's like, it's like speaking into a high fidelity microphone on NPR is what it sounds like. <laughs> so um, yeah, these pickups sound fantastic. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check them out if you like. Um, Jose does inc incredible wizardry level work and these are no exception. So these are the Planet Tone Al Aldeco 5 and Aldeco 2 Legacy pickups. Highly recommend that you check them out. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram. I'm actually like posting some stuff on Instagram now because my wife says I have to. So, <laughs> so go follow me on there and uh, until next time. I'll catch you later.